are you doing here? Why, I walked upstairs. I don't mean that. I meant, how did you get into the house? I don't remember letting you in. Oh, I opened the door. With this. So then you're the master? I guess that means you're Captain Hartley. I'm so glad to finally meet you. I've heard all about you. And your medals. And being wounded for three years. It was interesting. Really, it was. <laughs> Might I shake hands with you, Captain? Oh, why, of course. Never thought I'd shake hands with a real hero. Hero? Bosh. They're all heroes over there. I was just unlucky. Wounded. Sent home. Nevertheless, the town's mighty proud of you. I know. Shucks. I don't care about the town. Tell me, how is she? Limited. Oh. What is it? She's not expecting you until 5 o'clock. But I took the earlier train. But why did you do that? Is it so difficult to understand? It was dumb. Dumb? Don't you see? She wanted to look her nicest. To be ready. To receive you. What of that? She'd be simply heartbroken if she knew that you'd arrived and she wasn't even ready. You see, it's something very special. Oh, something very special. <laughs> oh, here she is now. Oh. <clears throat> you won't ruin it, will you? Oh, God forbid. Remember, half an hour upstairs will seem almost as long as three years over there. Come right in, Sylvia. Mrs. Hartley. Helen. Helen, dear, might you do me a favor? Who's the man? Your husband. What? Oh, may I stay here till he comes? No, dear. together at church, and there was another, but that wasn't so pleasant, when I said goodbye to him at the station platform when he joined the Canadians three years ago. And there will be another moment, a moment for which I have been living ever since when he will come home to me. Don't you see? There mustn't be any third person there, just he and I. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Hartley. No, no! Don't call me Mrs. Hartley. It makes me feel so old. Ugh. Helen, dear. Don't be so respectful. I don't like it when your girls are so respectful to me. Treat, treat me just as having a mother. I'm not old. I'm only... I'm only... Oh, doesn't really matter how old I am, does it? Of course not. <laughs> There's a secret about it. But what I would give you right again. I didn't take care to put that color on, did it? Oh, Mrs. Hartley. If you go again, Mrs. Hartley. I suppose it's the right thing anyhow, isn't it? You old darling. I should go now, shouldn't I? Would you like to stay and help me dress? Would I? Then I'll give you the last letter. From over there? Me? No. Written the moment she lies in here. To let me know if you arrive. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> ma'am. Bring me the dress. You know which one. I know, Mrs. Hartley. The I same know. dress <laughs> I wore when I saw him off the station. What a charming idea. I'm glad I suggested it. Listen. <clears throat> My own dearest girl. <laughs> no, it can't be getting. <laughs> no, I really can't. Ah. Yes? The weather on the trip home was lovely. How intensely exciting? Can't be satisfactory, is it? No. The same shoes I wore that day. Oh. Um. <sighs> <laughs> Here's something. Yes. 
I'm going to read this to you. You may be invited to like it. Do you know what image has been in my mind for the past few years? Do you know what picture has been before my, my eyes as I lay in that shell hole, wounded, expecting every instant to be my last? It was your face, dear, and your smile as the train pulled out of the station, your smile, uh, <laughs> and your smile went on to encourage me, for God knows there was no smile in my heart that day. Every detail was as distinct as if you stood before me as I write. The little dress you wore it was always my favorite. The hat, one of the kind that came down over the side of your face. Do you remember how it was in the way it went? Uh, <clears throat> what, what was that last, Helen? Every detail. Yes, every detail is just as But, but the hat. <laughs> what did you say about the hat? Oh, this is the hat. Don't you like it? Um, I'm off to be dressed, I won't be one minute. Move into the light a little bit more. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
can't you? The blue and white? Yes. Yes, and I can wear it. Then take it. It's yours. Oh, thank you, ma'am. No, eh? I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, 